a plume of smoke seen issuing from a flood-damaged chemical plant near the storm-hit U.S. city of Houston is incredibly dangerous, the head of the U.S. emergency agency FEMA has said. Broke Long said officials were still trying to evaluate the situation at Atma's chemical plant in Crosby. The company said there was a fire on site but no release of chemicals, and more fires and blasts were expected. A police officer at the site was hospitalized after inhaling fumes. Nine others admitted themselves as a precaution. Residents living within a 1.5 mile, 2.4 kilometers, radius of the plant were evacuated after the company warned there was a risk of explosions and fire. During heavy rainfall from Hurricane Harvey, the complex lost the ability to refrigerate chemical compounds that need to be kept cool. Speaking at a news conference in Washington, Mr. Long said it was not clear whether his staff could get into the plant to assess the full impact of the incident. The bottom line is that we do what's called plume modeling and that's what we base a lot of the evacuations on. And so, by all means, yes, the plume is incredibly dangerous, he said. At least 33 people have been killed in eastern Texas in the aftermath of the storm which the U.S. National Weather Service has now downgraded to a tropical depression. Heavy rainfall is expected from Louisiana to Kentucky over the next three days, and flood warnings remain in effect for southeast Texas and parts of southwest Louisiana. U.S. energy supplies have been hit, as oil companies shut down refineries and part of a major pipeline in the Houston area. What happened at the chemical plant? The Akma chemical plant, 21 miles from Houston, shut down production on Friday before the storm made landfall. But 40 inches, 102 centimeters, of rainfall in the area flooded the site and cut off its power, the company said. Backup generators were also flooded. The facility manufactures organic peroxides. Compounds used in everything from making pharmaceuticals to construction materials, which can become dangerous at higher temperatures. Harris County and company officials said there had been no massive explosions at the site, as originally reported, but a fire in part of a container. Pressure valves in the container had been released causing a popping sound, they said. The last remaining workers at the site were evacuated on Tuesday. The Federal Aviation Administration has issued a temporary ban on flights near the plant. Is the plant still dangerous? Richard Renard, a senior executive of ACMA, said substances in another eight containers were expected to decompose in the same way as the first. He did not rule out explosions during the decomposition. He would not say whether the smoke produced in the chemical reaction was toxic but said that it was noxious and anyone who inhaled it should seek medical advice.